12 season baseball is back in Toronto as the Jays prepare for their weekend of games against Seattle City Hall has raised a team flag to show support for Boba Shett and the boys in blue. And here inside the Rogers Center, it is the calm before the storm. They're getting the field prepared. And if you look in the stand, you can see the stands rather, you can see the workers putting on the special playoff shirts for the sold out crowd that will be taking in the first playoff game here at the Rogers Center for the Blue Jays since 2016. They will be hosting Seattle in a wild card series that is coming after a long 162 game regular season schedule. This is what it's all about right here, right? Um, you know, you train all off season, you train all year, uh, you go through the ups and the downs, and um, you know this, this is what it's all for—the bright lights, postseason baseball. You know, so this is what you dream of as a kid. Blue Jays fan favorite and all-star Alec Manoa will be the starting pitcher for Game One of their best of three wild card series. While it's for sure Manoa will be on the mound, there are still questions surrounding Lourdes Gurriel Jr. and Santiago Espinal, who have been out for a few weeks with various injuries. What they're going to be able to do, and kind of what you're hoping to see from them. Uh, more of the same than what they, of what they did yesterday, uh, getting out there, running the bases. They saw live pitching yesterday, so uh, that was a nice box to check. This is just the fourth time in three decades that the Jays have made the playoffs. For a number of the players on the roster, it's their first trip to the postseason. Aside from the vets like Jackie Bradley Jr. and George Springer, the last time the Jays were in the playoffs was in 2020 on the road and no fans in the stands because of the global pandemic, and they lost two straight to the Tampa Bay Rays. Tell them to enjoy it. You know, I think it's great to have veteran guys um, like George and Chappie, Jackie Bradley Jr. that have been there and done that. And, you know, you enjoy the moment, but you also remember on what you're trying to do. So, I mean, everyone's going to have a little bit extra emotion in all these games. And I think that if you can focus on, you know, playing the type of game that you want to play and not get too high, especially early on in the first game tomorrow, um, things will fall into place. So it's enjoy the moment. Friday and Saturday's games both have a start time of 4 p.m. Eastern time, and if needed, the game on Sunday will be at 2. All of the games will be live on Sportsnet. The manager, John Schneider, says they have not decided who will start game two for the Jays, but when asked what the team is capable of in the postseason, this is what he had to say. A lot. <laughs> I mean, I think that, you know, it's a very talented group. It is a, it's a really cool mix of young guys and veteran guys, um, both on the position player side and the pitching side. And uh, the expectation for us is to continue to win. How amazing does the Rogers Center look right now? Take this in. We were talking about playoff baseball happening here for the first time in six years. While that may not seem like a long time or a short time to some people, when you look at their opponent they're taking on Seattle, they haven't been in the playoffs at all since 2001.